we are going to rationalize denominators or divide when we've got two different terms in that denominator. Our goal is actually to get a difference of squares. So our goal is to get an a squared minus b squared, which we can get by multiplying a sum times a difference, a minus b. So we are going to multiply by the conjugate, and the conjugate just changes the sign. So if I've got a plus sign in my denominator, the conjugate is going to be minus, and if I have a minus sign, the conjugate is going to be a plus. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply here, building that difference of squares by 5 minus radical 2. Whatever I do in the denominator, I've also got to do that up in the numerator. So I go ahead and multiply by the very same thing. Now I can multiply this through. In my denominator, it turns out to be foil, but I know that as I'm foiling it, I'm getting the difference of squares. So let me first start with the numerator and then we'll deal with that denominator. I wanna distribute that radical five through. So I have radical five times five. I'm gonna write the five out in front, so five radical five. And then here I've got two square roots, so I can multiply what is inside together. For now, I'm just gonna write that as a two times five. That'll become a 10. Now in our denominator, I could foil this thing out, right? First, outer, inner, last, but I know that I'm gonna end up with the first thing squared, so five squared minus, and this is that difference of squares, minus the last term squared, so minus radical two squared. Okay, so what do we end up with? In our numerator, not a lot to do. I've got that five radical five, but I can multiply two times five and I get 10 if you didn't already do that. In the denominator, I have five squared, which is 25, minus radical two squared, which is two. How nice is this? And just one more simple step to get to that solution. Uh, five radical five minus radical 10, all over 23. So the key is to multiply by the opposite of whatever you've got in that denominator. Let's take a look at this next one. So for this next one, I have a minus sign here. I'm subtracting those two terms. One is a radical. So I'm gonna build up that difference of squares. Let's multiply by the conjugate. So that's gonna be three plus radical three X. And whatever I do in the denominator, I do in the numerator as well to keep this guy equivalent and balanced. Okay, so what I really need to do here is to multiply some things through. Let's multiply that two through, and we get two times three, which is six, um, plus sign in the middle, two times radical three X, the two is just gonna live on the outside, and then the radical three X. In my denominator, I have built the difference of squares. So I know that I'm gonna end up with the first one squared, times the second one squared. So this works out so nicely. I get three squared minus radical three X squared, and that's gonna take care of that radical in the denominator. When we're rationalizing, our goal is to get rid of or apply the radical in the denominator. Um, so what do we end up with? We get a six plus two radical three X, nothing else to do in that numerator. In that denominator, let's multiply things out. I get a nine minus the square root and the square undo each other and I get a minus three X. There is nothing else that I can simplify. So let's go ahead and put a box around this one. So in this one, we've got another subtraction in that denominator. The conjugate then is going to be the sum. I'm gonna multiply both numerator and denominator, minus one plus two radical five to get that conjugate. Same in the numerator, minus one plus two radical five. Now I've got a little bit of work to do here as I'm simplifying. The denominator turns out to be the easy part, right? Because A is negative one and B is two radical five. So when I multiply that denominator through, I'm gonna get that difference of squares. So negative one squared minus two radical five squared, A squared minus B squared. In my numerator though, I do need to use FOIL. So let's go ahead and work through our FOIL. So first it's gonna be negative four times negative one, that's positive four. So that's first 
outer is going to be negative 4 times 2 radical 5. So I get a negative 4 times 2 is 8 radical 5. Inner is going to be radical 3 times negative 1, so minus radical 3. And then the last is going to be a 2 on the outside, radical 3 times 5 on the inside. Everything's positive, so plus 2 radical. All right, that is 3 times 5. Okay, let's move over here where we've got some more room. So my numerator's got a lot going on. 4 minus 8 radical 5 minus radical three. If you are following along with this one, you are doing so good. Um, two radical 15, if I multiply that uh, radicand out. Okay, now my denominator, right? This is my favorite part. I'm just squaring these. So negative one squared is one. And I'm gonna square the two and undo the square root. So I get minus four times five. So that's gonna be one minus 20 and I get a negative 19 in my denominator. So I've got a negative 19 there, and my numerator just has a lot going on. Let's write all of that out, plus two radical 15. Again, if you were able to follow along, you are doing so great. Thanks so much for watching.